They say it's a big rich town. Why are you singing this I song? I just come from the poorest part. Legal or legal, review. baby. I gotta make it. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Ty. <laughs> Did y'all like that little corny clip right there? Okay, I ain't gonna waste no time. That was this app that I have, this split screen app, and I just was having fun with it. But I ain't gonna waste no more of your time. I'm gonna get right to it and talk about my favorite show, one of my favorite shows, I should say, the review of one of my favorite shows, Power, AKA I call it Big Rich Town. And this was uh, episode nine of season three, episode nine, and tonight's episode is titled, I Call the Shots. Now this is, not, we only got one more episode after this, and we didn't have any last week. So this was a pretty good episode. We're getting there. We're, it's, it's, the show has been good this season. So we see the sh um, it start off with Ghost and Tommy. Ghost asked Tommy, hey, where were you the other night? He already knows because we know he was spying on Tommy. He saw Tommy going to the warehouse. Tommy tells him he went to the warehouse. So, you know... We also see Milan pull uh, Tommy to the side. He says, listen, I know that Ghost followed you. Ghost has been following you. Man, this dude Tommy, I mean, this dude Milan has eyes and ears everywhere. This man is just, he's getting on my nerves. He knew that Ghost was following uh, Tommy. So he tells Tommy, listen, let him do it again. He ain't say it like that, but you know, I got to do it in my voice. Let him do it again, Tommy, and I'm killing you. So Tommy's like, listen, I thought I was your apprentice. Milan's like, you are, but listen, I'm going to tell you like this, Tommy. Let your boy follow you again or keep trying to plot against me and trying to get out of this, and I'm going to kill both of y'all. So it's like, damn, this, this Milan dude is serious. He is no joke. So we know... Tommy goes back to Ghost. He's like, Ghost, listen, Milan knows that you've been following him. He knows you're plotting against him, and you need to stop. You need to stop because he said he's going to kill me. And look, I was loyal to you. Now you got to do something for me. Promise me that you're not going to try to do anything, that you're not going to try to take out Milan. And of course, Ghost says, oh yeah, no problem, I promise. And we know Ghost is lying because we see that Ghost does something, uh, he's setting up something with Ruiz. And what that is, we were like, okay, what is he plotting here? He's setting up something with Ruiz and it's, it's like, oh, Ghost, what are you up to? Ghost has a lot of problems in this episode. You know, we see uh, the guy he fired, his former employee, the one he fired, he humiliated a few episodes back, told him to get out the club in front of everybody. We see him strut in there and he's like blackmailing ghosts, like, listen, I need the guest list. I'm working for the competitors now. He's feeling himself. Everybody feeling themselves in, these, in this episode. And so we see ghosts cleverly take get his revenge on them by basically having drugs planted in the competitors club and he kind of is trying to win back Karen's graces, good graces and get to do business with Karen and her father again. Um, we also see Ghost playing daddy, playing uh, the good daddy and he's up at career day with the family playing family man and um, the kids are there and Tariq is looking uninterested as usual and he's just like but the daughter, she seems to be into it. And they're talking about uh, Ghost's career as a club owner. And um, he mentions how hard it is. And then he gets all soft and emotional. And he mentions the sacrifices made. And he, mentioned, he says something about, something along the lines of, you know, in pursuing that career, he hurt his family and hurt people along the way. Something like that. And we see Tasha looking at him like, do you really mean that? And I knew right then and there, I said, they're going to get, they're going to hook up in tonight's episode. They're going to hook up because cue the violins. Ghost was pulling on the heartstrings right then and there. Um, before we get into them getting back together, let's, let's stay on Tyreek for a minute. Tyreek, this little boy, I just, he's just really irking me. He's been hanging with Kanan. 
Dre told him stop hanging with Kanan. What does he do? He goes back and tells Kanan what Dre says. So now, uh, Dre, when Dre approaches Kanan, um, they have their meeting, and um, Dre is like, what are you doing? Still hanging around him, whatever. Like, he's getting all tough, and I'm like, Dre, why weren't you this tough? When Kanan was holding your child, when he put your child down, you should have got tough with him like this. But now you all tough because he's hanging with uh, Ghost's child. And then Kanan tells him, listen, what you going to do? You going to tell Ghost that I've been hanging with Tariq all this time and that you knew what you think Ghost going to do to you? So there's a lot of that. Nobody could trust on this in this show. <laughs> but Tariq, I don't understand how you have connected with a stranger like this. I wasn't like that as a teenager. I didn't trust people like that as a teenager. I had to get to know you before I start hanging out with you. Now you over here going to the hood, stealing sneakers with, with Kanan. Come on, Tyreek, get it together, bro, come on. But it's, it makes for good television, it definitely does. Um, so let's on scale right on back to Tariq's parents, Ghost, and um, Tasha, like I said, at career day, what he said really pulled strings on her heart. Next you know, they're back in the saddle, back in bed. They had this intense love scene. I thought it was well acted because did you see the grimaces on their face? They looked like they were both backed up. It was like that. I wanted this for so long. Like, I haven't been with you in so long. It was just like that, oh, that gritty makeup sex. <laughs> <laughs> that especially for her it was like you know it's been a while but as we saw you see that um once it was done and she's like no i think you should go in another room we don't want to confuse the kids now you know that after sex conversation ghost decides to tell her yeah i got this plot baby i'm plotting against milan so you know what she does tasha calls tommy she's like tommy you gotta stop him Milan already came here and threatened to kill us all uh, if Ghost tried anything. And here Ghost is trying to do something. You have to stop him. Now we know that Ghost has some little plot with Ruiz to uh, have a meeting with uh, Milan and set something up. I was interested as to where that was going and what clever thing Ghost was going to do. But because he did this... Now, Tommy had to step in, and Tommy's like, you know what? And I'm like, damn, no. Tommy steps in, and he's like, no, no, no. You're not going to do this. We're not going to have this. So Tommy kills Ruiz. He kills Ruiz. He's like, no. We, we, it, 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 stab them up. He kills Ruiz because he's like, no. This dude, uh, what are you not getting, Ghost, is what Milan is saying. Milan... I mean, it's what Tommy's saying. Milan has already threatened me if you try to plot against him. You're not going to plot against him and get me killed. We're going to do this my way. So that's how they got this, the title, I Call the Shots, because Tommy is taking over. He's like, no, I'll call the shots. If we're going to kill Milan, I'll call those shots, not you. Meanwhile, you do, you're doing what I say. That was a great scene, too, because we see Tommy really saying to the ghost, I just told you what's going on, and you still went, you looked me in my face, and you still went ahead and tried to do, do a plot something without telling me, and you can get me killed. That was a great scene, and Tommy is right. But see, the, the, the writers are on to something here. It's really, really the twist and the turns. I'm really enjoying it this season. I also enjoyed watching both Greg and Angela vigorously try to figure out who this mole is. I love the scene where um, Angela texts, I think his name is Mike, the, who is actually the mole, Mike the mole. She texts him on that phone and he responds, he calls, and when he calls, she picks up the phone and she doesn't say anything. And they both hear the helicopters and realize they're in the same building. I also like how her and Greg are playing each other. They jump back in the sack with each other and what happens we see greg going through a person he takes a picture of the phone the sim card and he's tracking the phone and she's doing her own investigation mike the gig is about to be up we don't seen you come out the apartment 
Greg's seen you come out the apartment, they're going to catch that mold. Really, really good stuff tonight. Oh, another thing. What happened to Keisha? Is she dead? Because we see throughout the whole episode, um, Tasha keeps calling her and she doesn't answer the phone. She keeps calling her she doesn't answer the phone. Is she dead? We will find that out, I guess. We'll find that out next week in the last episode. We'll find that out in the season finale. But yeah, really good episode tonight. Let me know what you thought. Oh, and then that closer, that closing scene where Tommy goes over to Milan and he's like, I, you said I was one of you, right? Well, I am. And he tells him, we have to kill ghosts. So I'm like, is this part of the plot? Is this part of a little, you know, little scheme? Is this one of Tommy's ideas? Or is, he, is Tommy really serious that he wants to kill ghosts? We'll see next week in the next episode. Well, folks, that's it. I've had a long day today. I was in a parade. Yes, I was in a parade. I was in the African American Day Parade here in New York and Harlem. I marched. That was the first time. It was real cool. A whole lot of fun, fun, fun. A lot of fun. My brother's tired. So that's it for now. Have a blessed one. Be blessed. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for your text messages, your emails. I appreciate it. Follow me. Encourage your brother and stay blessed.